All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set your home pages and, well, a good portion of your other settings, at least the, the most important ones to make Google Chrome easier. I have my home page set for Facebook, so when I double click on this, it should go all the way to Facebook. The home, your home button up here on the top left, that you can have it set for anything you want to. I have mine set for google.com, some people call it Google Home. I have it set for that just so I could check my YouTube channel or my Gmail. Alright, here's how you set those. Click on that, those three lines in the top right corner, that used to be a wrench. They changed it, I don't know why. You go down here and click on settings. Now your home page, the page you open up when you click on your icon would be this one open specific page or set of pages you can have a set for two or three pages if you would like facebook.com if I wanted to change it I just click on the X it's gone and I write in whatever else I want Yahoo like if you have Yahoo mail you can click it to where it goes right straight to there opens up now that home button in order for that to even show you have to check that off See, now it's gone. You click on that, it shows back up. Now you can set wherever that goes. I have mine set for Google.com. I call it Google Home sometimes too. You just type it in. The HTTP, that, that gets added. All you got to do is type in Google.com. Now, let's see what else. Oh, a lot of people download stuff. Then they download stuff and they decide it's not working right because somewhere along the line the third party programs got added in. They're always trying to push that on you. Well, even if you uninstall it, you try to go back to your home page, whatever, suddenly everything's different. Well, you can go back in your settings to reset your home page and, and and you still end up with something showing up here along the top like the ask toolbar it's it just leaves remnants from when you download it uninstall it it's still there click on tools and extensions now mine I don't have anything because all they do is slow your computer down as far as I'm concerned there are things running in the background while you're doing your computer work whatever right here along in this area approximately will be trash cans beside every single one of them you just click on the trash can and your extension is gone now if you do want that you just click on browse and you can click on any one of these and you can add and all the extensions you want but like I said it just slows your computer down as things running in the background I noticed somewhere in here I seen where you can change your Facebook page to it you know to a different color you can browse through there and search if you decide that you would rather have extensions all right let's see what else your bookmarks I'm not gonna if you hover your mouse over top of the word bookmarks just hover it over it your whole list will pop down of all your bookmarks it'll go all the way to the bottom and if you have a whole bunch it'll go a little further so you can scroll your little wheel and it'll on your mouse and it'll show more on the list now to get your bookmarks say I wanted to bookmark this page here I just click on that star there it is I can rename it anything I want and then click done as simple as that I can go to YouTube I click on that star and there it is I just simply click done now on your bookmarks when you add a new one it always always ends up at the very bottom of the list you can click and drag it up to the top any position you want alright let's see the last thing I wanted to show you would be how to clear your search history on the top left where your arrow is click hold your button down click on show full history I just clean mine out so you just have a few in there clear browsing data click on that now 
I always set mine to clean. If you're going to clean it out, might as well clean all of it out. That's the way I see it. You, or if you want, you can clean out just the past hour, the day, past week, past four weeks. Like I said, I have mine set for the beginning of time. Clean out every single one of them. And you can decide which ones you want removed. But me, I remove everything except saved passwords. This clear saved autofill from form data. I clear that out too because for some reason the only thing it has that I notice that it affects is signing back into Facebook. I do have to sign back into Facebook. And you just click on that. Well, I don't want to do it because I've already done it twice. Just click on that and it takes just a couple seconds and it's gone. Let's see. I really can't think of anything else. Anyway, thank you for watching.